Yeah. All right, welcome to our first episode of Chapter 2, The Thinning Miss. Uh, we're talking about the gathering of branches here. Let's, um, yeah. right, let's start it off with a quote about Miss. The Miss will part to show us the way, Morgane. And when they close again, the old life will be gone and the new one will have begun. That is what the Miss are for, Morgane. To hide what we fear is real and show us what we do not expect. All right, let's do some intros. Uh, this is episode one after all. This is a game about uh, branches and some gathering. That's all we do in this. It's just, uh, it's, it, it's like a fetch quest over and over. That's all we do. Uh, not really at all. Um, let's, let's do some intros starting with Rebecca. Hi, my name is Rebecca, and I play Orwin, uh, the heir to Barrowcrest Manor. Perfect. Emily. Uh, hi, I'm Emily. I play Beatrice, who is a uh, getting more effective spellcaster. Um, and yeah, that's about it. She is not the heir to anything. <laughs> The heir to grievance. As your mother constantly reminded you. Yeah, um, yeah. The heir to disappointment. <laughs> the heir to family disappointment. Good times. Good times for Beatrice. All right. And Megan. Hi, I'm Megan. I play Aronwi. She is a household knight of Barrowcrest Manor, the thing that Owen is the heir to. Um, but for now, it's Lady Gwynedd. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, let's let's dive in. Uh, we're gonna start Ooh. kind of in a different place. Let's let's maybe uh, let's do some switcheroo here. I'm gonna show you uh, what we're dealing with first. We're gonna go take a look at Summerland in more detail. Oh, I gotta switch that. All right, so here we are at Summerland. Uh, this is the hundreds and the breakdown. We're not gonna spend too much time um, diving into this. This is one of the counties of the Kingdom of Logris on the island of England. Uh, this is where our players currently are stationed in um, Barrowcrest Manor in Bootcomb. Um, it's Bootcomb. <laughs> it's Bootcomb. I'm not going to say it. Uh, 
Twitch. Don't, <laughs> don't get me in trouble with Twitch. Um, <laughs> Look, it's it's not your fault. It's it's England's fault. Why do they have such silly names for everything? <laughs> Yeah, that's not on us. I mean, Fair. like, if you had to talk about Intercourse Pennsylvania, for example, like, that's not against terms of services. It's a little less crude, I'd say. <laughs> um, uh, all right, let's uh, let's dive in. So, um, not too much happened in 490 outside of the trip with Duke Gorlo. Uh, the rest of the year was kind of uneventful. I did want to check in with Megan and ask a question and turn down the music mm -hmm. a little bit so people can hear me. Did did we establish uh, your sister's wedding date? The spring. Did we? Okay. I think yes. what we said. Perfect. I thought so. Okay. Um... So that is still going to happen, but you are pulled to a feast in Bath. Um, oh. it's, a, it's a royal feast, or county feast, depending on how you look at it. Uh, it's a royal feast. Yeah. For you all, it's a royal feast. Um, but before we dive into it fully, maybe let's do some, some catching up. What have, what have each of you kind of been up to for the last little while? Um, maybe walk us through your process. We'll start with, uh, start with Olwyn. What's it been like for Olwyn these days? Um, not too much has really changed for her. She's been, um, helping out more with Lady Gwynedd. Uh, I think she's ever since the Lady of the Lake um, came and, you know, told her about about things. Like It's like, oh, you have the site and everything. She's been kind of going around and helping out Beatrice, actually, as much as Beatrice has been her handmaiden, Owen has tried to, you know, just kind of find herself in um yeah you know, oh my god name um lilo's uh hut you know she's just kind of wandering around to, oh i was in this area of the you know grounds and such and i just thought i'd you know pop in see if you need anything so you've been popping in a little bit more yeah see if like you know because I know the Lady of the Lake said something about like, oh, well, well, we'll see if we can get your site up, or you know, maybe maybe I'll teach you some things. She's like, all right, that sounds good. And then just kind of been sitting in with Lilo, seeing if she could just kind of learn and help out. All right. Uh, what about Beatrice? What's been going on with Beatrice? Um, apparently I've been hanging out with Olwen. Um, yeah, we're besties. <laughs> <laughs> Grabs her by the back of the neck. We're best friends, Beatrice. <laughs> we're best friends, right, Beatrice? Um, so I think that Beatrice has been very focused. I, I think she would be less social, so it's, it's, she's drawn, withdrawn to an extent. Um, I think she's been studying hard on, uh, she's been studying her magic very, very intensely. And I think she has kind of, that that's caused her to kind of sacrifice that like typical social aspect. Um, though she has probably picked on her a couple of times to work on getting some, getting better with horses so that we have two of us that are good with horses. <laughs> <laughs> one um so she's she's probably done that but as much as olin does come to visit i think beatrice is getting better at kind of accepting that but it's she's been around the manor itself a lot less interesting okay. that's fair so she's sticking to lilo and she's sticking to learning if she can make it to the other 
uh, I would have to look up her name, but the other um, spellcaster in the next town. Yeah. yeah. Tefina. Tefina. Tefina, yeah. that was it. I think she, would have, she liked Tefina, so I think she would have probably, if she could make it to Tefina a couple of times, just to sit and practice some different kinds, different specialties, that kind of thing, or just study them in general. Mm-hmm. If she can't, then she wouldn't have, but... And what about um, Aranwi? What's been going on for Dame Aranwi? Uh, well, Dame Aranwi, um, I think she's been really throwing herself into training for her own purposes, training Ariel. So she saw Jaren do that really cool thing where he just like thunk at that Bogart. And she was like, I have to get better at sword. That was so cool. I want to do, do how that. How do I thunk the Bogart? <laughs> I had I thunk the Bogart. Um, so she's definitely been working on sword a lot, um, and she's been training Ariel. Um, Beatrice, when she asks to do horse riding, will probably um, will probably be invited to join Aranway and Ariel when they start working on horse riding stuff. So it's a lot of like making sure that her skills are up to par and Ariel's skills are up to par and Anyone else who would like to join them for various things? So Beatrice and horse riding. Um, I don't know if Owen's working on dagger anymore, but Owen she still could might also be working join. on dagger a little bit. I think. All right, yeah. then Owen can join for that. So it's basically a lot of like skill improvement at this point in time, and I think she is also uh, very anxiously <laughs> waiting for news on um, I... on Tintagel because. She knows that the last time she saw uh, Duke Gorlo, things weren't looking so great. And so she's a little bit invested in that, kind of like every time someone comes back asking like, hey, any news about that that other county? And I think that's mostly what she's been doing. I have this really funny idea in my head of like Aranwi pairing up like uh, Ariel and uh, and and Owen to work on daggers. Because <laughs> like you really need to improve, and she's really bad. <laughs> well, Owen, You're my squire bad, has though. no weaknesses, so he can help you. <laughs> I mean, if you yeah. think your bad uh-huh. at dagger, you should see like Edane. Edane. Oh, oh, Edane. I was I I thought of it. Wow lovely Aranwe was going but also Beatrice would have kept an ear out for what happened to Gorlo okay and uh, his wife and everyone just to keep an ear out on if they lived through their encounter nothing as of yet but it is now <laughs> spring and spring is the time where people muster, armies muster and wars can happen uh, yeah with Yay. that, we're gonna go to the Easter slash, um, what is it? Spring Equinox, I believe, was the equivalent. Um, feast or court? Yeah, feast in in Bath. So once again, let's pull up this quick overview. Did I click on the wrong one. Uh, what happened? There we go. So Bath is... Over here. On the border of two other counties. Your favorite. The county of Gentian up here. And the county of Salisbury down here. Ooh. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Ooh, so. Salisbury. <laughs> Say the line, Megan. Ooh, Salisbury. Yay! Indeed. All right. So with that, uh, we're going to start the feast. Now, there are a lot of familiar faces here. Um, Just going to do some minor trimming. Cadogan is not here. He is the knight left behind in this case. Even though there's two of them. Um... Dogged, Sir Dogged and Edain are here. Uh, so is Branwyn, 
So this, these are the ones you would have traveled with. Um, you also note that Grifflet's here. Because... Yay! His... And Sir Garanwi, my evil twin. Sir Garanwi, your evil twin is here. Indeed. Um, is Gwydion is... here? Who? Yes, Gwydion. Wow. <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. I'm sorry. Well, it could have been wrong for, <laughs> for all you know. All the other icons are wrong. The two Dame <laughs> Aron, Aron. One sec. Dame Brandwins. Are... Okay, there we go. Clean that up. Apparently, I was doing this half awake. Maybe I need another coffee. Um, oh, yes. I will join you in late night coffee. Mistakes. Uh, the prince is here, and so is Cadwy. My prince? <gasps> Hello, Hello Cadwy! I agree with the more coffee. Welcome, Baka. Um, <gasps> Baka is here? Indeed. And uh, thanks for the follow, by the way. Uh, that happened during the loading screen. Emerald 20. Okay, uh, that's weird. Chris! Hi, Chris. Okay. Let's, uh, let's dive in. Let's start with some, uh, I think, Aranwi's favorite role. We're gonna roll some appearance here and... Oh my gosh, to, uh, yeah. And, uh, and Emily's not role for Beatrice, because... Holy shit! Oh yes! Let's go! Remind me. You, Beatrice, are on the floor. On the floor. This one. Oh, I got to on be. I got to be an honored guest last time. I got too used to being spoiled. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's true. Wow. Um, Not the twenty appearance. That was a bad roll. That was a bad roll. You're 11. It was a bad roll. But we get to sit together. We get to sit together. Hey, to be fair, if you rolled an 11, you would have failed. So. Yeah. It's, it's a bad like roll. You can't make a bad roll. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Mr. 27. Look. <laughs> look. 28. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just oh, glaring oh, at you. I'm just glaring at you from Actually. the floor. Actually, get it right. <laughs> You two are uh, sitting are and chatting eating? and happy, and I'm glaring. Yeah, what's the food? Yeah, what are me and Olwyn getting to snack on together? Because we're sitting next to each other for once. Yeah, no. Sorry, I know. I know. I said that Beatrice was my bestie, but she's on the That's floor right now. <laughs> she actually sucks. Friendship with Beatrice ended. Now Aranwe is my best friend. Now it's Aranwe. We like get a hippocrass. Hell yes. It's fine. I'm sitting by myself on the floor. Isn't that that actually awful? sounds all fucking delightful. Who's uh, That's the spiced wine, I believe. Oh yeah. Okay. This is. I love so how that's like an element. As long as it's not the the pig concoction. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> We're keeping that one. Fucking trice. We're doing it. Yeah. None of that though. It's a uh, parsley bread. Then peacock and then hippocrat. All right. Tasty. Indeed. Not bad. Yeah, we just drink. You drink wine for an entire course. Yeah, it's, it's... not just wine. Is delightful, hot, like warm, spiced mold wine that mold wine Olin doesn't taste. Do I get any of this? Because I'm on the floor. Yeah, we'll make sure to get you some. Like, are they feeding me? Obviously. I'm gonna get what? all of you to test intrigue to begin the feast, and it's gonna be. I told I would you. love to. Yeah. I should have put points. Oh my gosh! Wait, my intrigue, intrigue went up. Oh my god! Fuck! Right. I failed. <laughs> I still fail. Oh, good job, oh team. We are... Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Like roll back, and we all fail. Look, we're just here for the wine. Okay. I'm just here for the wine. <laughs> Bro, I'm drinking so much wine, I cannot I even intrigue. Right. 100%. Okay, uh, we'll start it off with Olwyn. Now, 
you're not above oh, the soul, man. which actually can yeah. can play to your favor because that means no, I I still can't pick oh. cards because oh, I don't have enough glory. I'm still like a hundred and ten glory off from being able to so close. take cards. So close. I know. I I initially you know celebrated. And I was like, yes, I'm not above the soul, and then I remembered, oh, I'm not good enough. <laughs> oh. Sag. You're too young. Um, you're you're not tall enough for this ride yet. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, whew. Um, but this is a three-round feast in theory. Yes. Oh, Melior's here. Yes, your your uh, lovely hands is present. Uh, She's really excited to see you, actually. Great. Oh my god, did she get to see your aunt? That's your favorite family member. My only family member. <laughs> so it has to be your favorite. Yeah. I wasn't wrong. By default. By default. <laughs> no, no. How you're not related to House Default. They're in Salisbury. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Got him. Oh, um, I think um Oh, and Sir Guidon's here. I haven't really spoken to Sir Guidon since my intro, I think. I, mean, I think he's been around. But I don't think I've spoken to him. Um, That's true. God, so many good options to go with. Uh, hi, Gwydion. <laughs> Gwydion. Is that, yeah, is that the, the goal? Of, of, of course, yeah. Okay. Gotta, I gotta talk to Gwydion at least once or I will die. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure that part's you, accurate, but... You, you put a Gwydion in front of me yeah, and... it's there. And, if it's Olwen, there's a possibility she will die. A wild talk to somebody. Gwydion appears. Yeah. yeah. Gwydion uses pathetic. It's super effective. <laughs> God, he is pathetic. You know what? He's always... I'm totally gonna go like get that coffee. <laughs> I just need it tonight. <laughs> yeah. Tonight no, cool. Give me two minutes. I'll keep you guys live. Yeah. So. Sure. Everybody, entertain. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I'm dancing. Entertaining. Whoever ever. said if Sir Luke was here, we'd rejoice. No. Oh my God. I have never been so happy that Cabaret and Luke are not here. I'm I'm so oh, glad. Zach. I'm so I'm glad. I'm mad at Padarn. I'm not talking. You're mad at Padarn? I'm what did he do Padarn. this time? What? I mean, you're Beatrice always mad at Padarn. Padarn. Beatrice can hold a grudge, guys. <laughs> what? I'm I know, Shocker. Beatrice can hold a grudge as well. I can't believe there's two Grifflets here. I'm really excited um, to <laughs> Wait, talk to my brother twice. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I didn't know so Grifflet. Grifflet's a twin. I... Grifflet's a twin. Yeah, I, I hid that from all of you. Yeah, I, I thought I, mean, I, mean, I understand. I twist of the air. Grifflet that you know is obviously the evil one. <laughs> jokes on you. I like. Need y'all to stop making jokes when I have a mouthful of coffee. <laughs> I'm sorry. Disclaimer. Wait, because I Rebecca just did it, and I almost had to spit it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I choked. Um, oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to the prince. I know, oh I thought gosh. about that too. too really but bad. It's just I'm like, not gonna lie. I just walk yourself up off the floor. I'm just gonna walk myself to all the way up off the floor ball. and be like, hi. Hi. Remember me? You united I carried my friend? you to a room once. That's all we got. Remember right, me? we carried him I out carried of you to a room. I helped nurse you back to health very briefly. I was the least enthusiastic. How are you? <laughs> I didn't care whether you lived or died. Hello. Yeah, I didn't care at all. But you're very pretty. I didn't care oh. if you lived or died. Goodness. I wasn't I'm that so helpful, sorry. but you're like a bishi, and that's like super hot. <laughs> Kya, hello? <laughs> oh my god. You know, like, nya. I have returns <laughs> hunted a wild coffee. Oh, but like a mock was kind of yeah, you know, like you know, like yeah. All right, we're we're ready. 
Um, I heard something <laughs> about two grifflets. Yep, you're right. There yeah. are two grifflets. Here. No, he's killed the twin. Banished him back to fairy. Yep. Back to oh god. <laughs> Some fake shit. And going Did on. Did you get the right one? You didn't. I don't know. <laughs> you didn't. banished the wrong grifflet. Okay. Uh, let's let let us dive in. We're at Lady Olwyn's action for round one. Right, Griffley. Hello. How long has it been since? It's been a while, right? Since the uh, vomits. Yeah, it's been just short of a year, maybe three seasons. I think you were oh, in the it's summer. Been ages. Yeah. So, um, I think, I think. Okay. Um. So we got we got what we got games we got dancing we got. I'm not gonna flirt. Yeah. And we've right. Got... Okay. Well, yeah. Your favorite, yeah. your favorite person from before. Your other favorite person. There's always got to be at least one favorite person in every feast, right? Yeah. a little bit of spice. We like spice here. It's true. Um, so what's my goal here? Do you want to really do you want to think dancing. for a minute while you're on me goes? Do you want to pass? Sure. Yeah. Oh Girl, god, I don't on the spot, wait. Megan. <laughs> I can draw cards now. I don't have to think of what I'm going to do. It's true. It must you be nice. Me. We'll get there yeah, eventually. it must be nice. I can draw two cards even. Vloop. A roaring fire or gentle woman. Now, excuse me while I try oh, yeah. to read these. Uh, All right, a yeah, roaring fire. You. As you rest near the hearth, um, a hot ember pops from the fire and lands on your clothes. Uh, make a deck save. You knock the ember away before it can do any harm, or you fail and the ember burns a large hole in your clothes. Choose minus two geni geniality or miss one round changing your clothes. Or, gentlewoman, the lady takes a shine to you and helps spruce up some of your clothing. This is after I burn it to a crisp. Um, at the start of each round, you can keep this card or discard it. If you keep it, plus two geniality. Uh, you cannot draw cards while you keep this one. Um, discard this card if you are forced to change your clothing. <laughs> 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 These cards go together. Um, I'm keeping gentlewoman. Okay. Yeah. I think she sees a Ronwe and she's like, oh, honey, dear, here you go. Yeah, that's great, actually. That works really well. Um, it would almost be funny if it was Lady Melior, but I'm not oh, sure. Oh, this page. <laughs> if it was... Uh, if it was yeah, like, let yeah. someone else realize... Yeah, let me help you. Oh, it, yeah. <laughs> here, here's a mask. Oh my dear. <laughs> you look hideous, yeah. darling. Cover your I mean, face a little bit. On the one bit, hand, you make my knee stand out, so maybe she'll like get married even faster. <laughs> stand near her. Your seven appearance is going to make her glow all the brighter. Have you ever considered hiring a, a handmaiden and having them just stand just to the side of you? <laughs> Cut off the <laughs> side that. perspective. Oh, no. You know, only the part Just where your teeth show through your lips. Are. That one, that part. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, okay, so for real, I don't think Lady Melior is going to be the, the one. Yeah, she's um, not, she not that nice. No. Um, we shall roll. I had an idea, roll. but I don't have the person handy. It's from Malahu, which technically isn't connected yet. So let's let's do mm -hmm. let's do. We could have a fun little visitor. This could be someone from somewhere. So let's see who it is. Someone from somewhere, indeed. I bet they are. Ooh. He's gonna roll it, and it's gonna be me. Is there? Oh no! Like, don't don't bring my evil twin. Oh, oh no! Oh no. yes, please. If that didn't work. I need to get some of these fixed up. Uh, that. And then... Uh, Alwan. I think if I have to deal with my evil twin, you should deal with yours. I don't want 
Two. There Jokes on all of you. I table. am the evil this, twin. Is that table? <laughs> I am the evil twin. You're secretly Griplet's evil twin. All right. Back it. That table's broken. Why would we assume I was anything different? That's so <laughs> true, Bestie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm, so I'm Room. Just suggested a very random name uh oh, zilla what a fun, fun so random name random and cute i think that's cute actually i think someone named zilla would really liven up a party actually so very true. good yeah they do, they do something all right um <laughs> uh give me a give me a sec here i got i got somebody you got somebody <laughs> Uh, we had one of our PCs in the Melhut game meet a random someone from Summerland. And so, we uh -huh. saw, yeah, there was like a little interaction there. So we're going to go ahead and see who the hell that was. Uh, I think if we did have a Zilla, she should be married to Kane the Jester, Karen's yes. best friend. For no reason. I just gotcha. think Kane deserves a wife. <laughs> right, mm -hmm. not, we're not tying in any, you know, anything from there. What do you sure. mean? No, no, I'm just... There's already a duo. Uh, okay. Got a rotary. <laughs> sort of victory. Follow through there. Please hold while I look this up. I'm gonna try for about maybe 20 more seconds. I'm gonna get mad and give up. Uh. Oh, there we go. Lady Bryn. Lady Bryn was the name. Lady Bryn. Lady Bryn. 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 Is she <laughs> famous for anything? Let's see. Hospitality. Uh, a loyalty to Uther. That's right. Oh, get her out! Yeah. Get her out get her right out now! Yeah, what is yeah. she doing here? <laughs> I forgot about that. Boo. I don't uh, want you. And she's a bit of a wino as well, by the way. Oh, good. So glad oh. she heard that we were having Hippocrats as one of the yeah <laughs> courses. She was like, hey, and... yeah. Politics aside, fellas, what you got to drink? <laughs> I love it. I love that she's uh, some Rolanders know how to drink. Yeah, so her father, her father was a very loyal knight to Aurelius, and then his loyalty continued to pass on through Uther, and she's taken up that. Um, uh, so, yeah, uh, so what did the card let's go back to the card now. <laughs> Now that we spent mm -hmm. 20 minutes figuring that out, um, you keep this card. Gentle. Oh, that's hilarious, because I'm pretty sure that's exactly the card we pulled for Drax when he found, when he got her, actually. Lady oh, oh, my God. God. So she, this lady just she's loves just getting up in your a hang, business. Hanger on her, yeah. She's a meddler. Oh. Uh, it could have totally been Meliora, actually. <laughs> um, it could have been. Maybe they're friends. Yeah. Who knows? Oh my gosh. That's why she's here. Melior was like, oh my gosh, bestie. I'm going to be going to a feast. You should totally join me. So you get you like so fun. You get, and I know this will be weird for her on me, but you get three geniality this round. I'm going to be actually good at feasts this time. Bonkers. Yep. She's like, oh. Bonkers. She, she's like, are you from here? Are you from Summerland? And you start to talk and she's like, oh, anyway, so this way. And then she like drags you. And she's like, have you met this person? And, and then you hear her go on and on. Um, yeah. And we'll, we'll leave it at that. Plus three geniality, but at what cost? <laughs> cost of your sanity, I think. Yeah. Um, Hi. Re Rebecca's turn. Yeah. Um, I think... I, I think I'll still like, um, I'll still go up to Griffith and it'll probably be like an intrigue role, find out like stuff that's been happening. Was it Griffith or did you say Gwydion? Gwydion, Gwydion, yeah. Okay. Just all the all the Griffith talk. All the G's. 
All the G's. Too many G's. All the G's in the house. <laughs> I don't think Gordian is a G. <laughs> also, no. do not. Also, I, I don't know if Grifflet is a G either. Well, the evil fair. Grifflet was, but we sent him back we to have, the, We, we the sent him to the Shadow Realm. Okay. Uh, let's let's dive in because I just realized we're on a shorter episode tonight. Oh, right. Uh, let's let's go to so Gwydion can be found where he's always found, sitting on the floor amongst the dogs and uh, other squires. All right, so we'll say that I'm oh, bringing and, some food, and Beatrice. Beatrice. Um, <laughs> and and as she's doing that, um, she sees. Uh, Gwydion as well. Oh! Hi! Hi! I'm gonna... I need to think about something for Beatrice, because it might be slightly wrong. Because I don't think handmaids end up on the floor. It's different for squires. It's like, hey, go sit here. But handmaids might oh. have to actively attend to their person. So I will think about that, but we won't worry about it this round. Or yeah, I will get to it on her turn. Uh, Gwydion turns to you and um, as you, you know, provide Beatrice with their food. Gwydion says, oh, Owen, hey. Hello. Um, it's been a while. Have you been working on what we promised. Yeah. Yep. I mean, do you yes. Uh huh. I sure do. I don't usually yell at people, so. Um, <laughs> I thought about that for a lot of fortnights after. Yeah. It was a bit of a wake up call, if I'm being honest. Well, that's good. I'm. I think. I think you stand well to be assertive. I mean, you're an heir after all. You have lots to look forward to, and yeah, why not? Why wouldn't you? Well, I think it helped me on um, a couple things that we had to do later on. In we were sent on. We had some. Just, menial tasks to take care of you know but there was a bit of trouble along the way and i managed to assert myself and it felt really good actually oh that's really good <laughs> but i just i really wanted to thank you for giving me the kick i needed to be who I need to be. He gets a little awkward with that. He's like, well, I, I don't know if I did much. I mean, I just said... Hello? That. Didn't we have an agreement, uh, darling? I, You're welcome, he says after a long pause. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. How have things been going? You went back to Padan, right? Yeah. If things are yeah. good, things are really good here. Mm. And... Anything exciting going on? Uh, what type of action, this is Bob asking, what type of action are you taking? Here? Uh, this is an intrigue. Okay. Uh, Make an intrigue flutter. test. I will do that. Do, 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 do. It's a success. Okay. He says, um, well, uh, I mean, things are pretty good, assuming the the wars in Cornwall don't spread our way. And he kind of, like, stops and freezes, realizing he's gossiping in an area he probably shouldn't. Well, one kind of masks to sort of have a... That doesn't face me at all. Sort of looks so like if if he needs to like backpedal, she's basically given him an out 
attempt to do that. He just, he just says, I, I don't know. Um, I just hope, you know, once Uther's done there, it doesn't turn his attention here. That's all. No. It, I'm sure he won't. <laughs> He'd probably be fine. I mean, he, he, as far as he's concerned, we're loyal to him. Cadwy is under his command and whatnot. Indeed, he yeah. He doesn't have that's, any reason to... That's what Father says, too, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Darn so, thinks differently, but it's okay. Well, Padarn seems nicer and kinder than your father. And those are qualities that I respect and listen to. He starts to kind of consider that. Yeah. Yeah, he probably is to most people. Um, I'm sure most people are in certain respects. Well, I, I shouldn't keep you too long. Um, of course not. Would you like me to get anything for you? Are you doing well? You need any more peacock? I'm okay. Uh, I yeah. All right. I'll, I'll get whatever's left. Uh, I think nonsense. Uh, um, what do you want? No, 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 no. Um, he looks over at Padarn and his father. Right. If you don't tell me what I get, what you want, I'm gonna just grab a whole bunch of peacock for you. Uh, maybe just put some to the side, but don't. Bring it to me. If they see that, then they'll think I'm just being a baby. And uh, it's I. It's not. To... If if Beatrice happens to walk past me and happens to get it at all, and happens to come back to her seat here next to you, well then, that's what happens. He smiles your way. <laughs> Says you're you're a good friend. I appreciate you looking out for me, but. I think I think they're trying to teach me um, some tough lessons. Her to be? Yeah. Uh, no, I no. can't believe you're refusing a lady like this. That's so. <sighs> he looks confused. I I would never. I mean, I. Uh, hmm? Your offer is very kind. He says, trying right. trying to practice his. Mm -hmm. uh, forwardness. There you go. <laughs> I'll see you around. He smiles. Alright. So that was a pass roll. That will net you too. Yay! Now, let me just check one thing here real quick. I'm going to see if the book mm -hmm. piece actually has anything on this. I will be right back. Book of Peace. We're going to see if it has Handmaiden. It, it references handmaidens equal to squires. I was just checking to see if, but it's, that's all for the feast deck. I wanted to see it's fine. placement. I am a mere peasant. I don't think so. I think for handmaiden, so you can't draw cards, but I think you still Are get to... below the saw? Uh, no, I think you get to test your app. Uh, like everybody else. Yeah. And you can't... That's the the role of the handmaid is you can't be higher than Lady Olwyn unless there's a special circumstance, because that's who you're attached to. It, that would sense. be so embarrassing. Yeah. Hey, look okay. at me. My pants are yeah. 
Yeah, so that that nets you know, being okay, near the never... salt, which which means you're with, you're attending oh, cool. to La Lady Olwyn. So you still can get geniality, you just can't draw cards. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, Chris, what are you doing down there with Odin? Come sit by me. <laughs> <laughs> Out of this group of people, looks like they are enjoying this feast the least. Oh. Uh, that's probably going to be an intrigue test. Okay. Intrigue oh, no. I told y'all that I should have leveled up intrigue. Uh, actually. <laughs> and everyone was like, it'll be fine. Actually, hold on. When do you have to roll intrigue? It's all win skill. Courtesy is your really bad one, right? <laughs> Don't do courtesy instead, please. Awareness? Do you have hosp um, hospitality? Probably. I think I do. You have a little bit. Don't know where it is. Uh, yeah, but that's worse. And make an intrigue test. It's fine. Yeah, intrigue, intrigue is going to be the best we got in case we want, unless we want to do awareness, which I don't think it is. <laughs> please. For God, please. Oh. Oh. I was like, please don't let me go up to someone who's enjoying themselves. I can't take the social mortification. Uh, that's gotta go to Sir Garanwi. Oh, I'm not. Who's the next? Who's next? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking to him. Who's next? Uh, someone bearable who isn't enjoying themselves. Yeah, someone bearable, much. which means he's out of the running. Who else? Olin's aunt is out of the running. I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm pretty sure the other ones. Sir like, Pierce. I haven't met Pierce, have, have I? No, you were off talking Sir, to yeah. Athena when that happened. Sir Pierce is Ariel's dad. Ariel's dad. Ariel's dad and Grifflet's sire currently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> They're all so scary. Up to my <laughs> I don't want to make you. I don't want to ask you for another one because that just feels. Because <laughs> you're so bored. How am I ask, supposed to do that? What? Yeah, hey. I feel like I can't walk up to the lord. I made jokes about walking up to the prince, but I don't. She's not actually gonna do it. When it says menorial, menorial lord or menorial lord, that's just a vassal knight. That's all that means. It, it means they they're a lord of a, a manor, not a actual lord lord kind of thing. They are a knight, a landed knight. Mm -hmm. Are you? Is Piers your target, or do you want to? Uh, is there another one? Oh, it's <laughs> Padarn. There is. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I I got the two that like I was hoping not to get. <laughs> <laughs> got immediately the people that I was like I don't want to talk to them. Uh, uh you know who you know who doesn't look like they're enjoying themselves? Dame Branwyn does not look like. Branwyn. I'm going to Branwyn. Yeah, yeah. I am grabbing yes, wine and going to Branwyn. <laughs> yes. She That's is below the salt. Right I yeah I wanted to I really. Wanted to like meet some new people, but I don't even care. <laughs> new people are scary. I don't want to talk to them. It's like I it's like know. I want to meet new people, not that guy or not that guy, people. but anyone. It's like me slowly through Tinder, just this. like Ooh. so. Like she's not gonna go up to someone who's like visibly having fun because last time she tried to do that, she kind of ruined the whole mood of the fun night. So okay. she's not here for it. Fair um. Enough. Yeah, it was when Kadarn was like, yeah, I want to leave. I was like, that's valid. Um, so she is going to go up to Branwen with wine and just set it down in front of her and sit in front of her. <sighs> Lovely um, beast we have here. Yeah, I hate, I hate these things. Yeah, me too. Okay. Yeah, I. There are other people who look like they hate it, but they also mildly look like they're gonna hate me. And I, I don't have the bandwidth. I not bandwidth. I don't have the patience <laughs> to deal with that. <laughs> I don't do well with people. Yeah, I, I don't mind stabbing them, but talking to them gets really old quick. Yeah, and I'm not even good at stabbing them. Nice. So. 
suppose it takes I'm, practice. I'm... Would you be willing to teach me? And I'm okay with the spear. Why not? I'm okay with a few things. I'm better with a dagger. That's usually what I have on me. Carrying a spear is kind of a lot. I'm competent, I suppose, with a dagger. Am I? Is it true? Yes, she is. <laughs> is it true? <laughs> is Beatrice competent with a dagger? She's just talking about it like she knows. So she's good. <clears throat> uh, yeah. This, when we're back and things are easy, absolutely. And out of curiosity, if we were to sneak out of this, how bad would that be for us? Uh, how much trouble would we get in for that? Well, she looks over to Olwyn. I don't think our concern is Lady Gwynedd in this case. Yeah, it would be the redhead dancing around the room. Yep, yep, that's <laughs> the operative. Random nods. Okay. My my charge and your um, lady. Yeah, I feel <laughs> like I feel like it might be friend at this point. But never tell her that I can't give her that satisfaction. She nods. I understand. I uh, Do you want to play a game or something? I don't know. I don't know what to do with these things. Brandon says, absolutely. <laughs> okay, fantastic. <laughs> okay, perfect. So we'll move into that with round two. But for round one, you have two geniality. Look at that. Oh my god, what a, I don't know how to use it, but that's awesome. It, it just gives you a plus two on geniality before. Um in geniality you get that and then at the end of the feast, like it's all totaled and multiplied by ten and you get that Tens much glory. glory. I should have just gone and talked to the prince and I'll just get all of the geniality. On top of that, <laughs> geniality <laughs> also gives you temporary stats for anything courtly. Right. So for the next time you roll anything courtly, you have a plus two because you have two geniality. Ooh. Guys, Indeed. I'm courtly. Just for the round. How's it feel? <laughs> Feels like power. Right. <laughs> Unlimited power. I, I think yeah, with your so characters, really have just I'm getting... gonna do a cheeky little meetup. No, I don't think not with you. Well, unless it's necessary. Do you need that for the Gwydian part? Or no? No. Because otherwise, I figure you're just getting your feet wet. We can always do that round, end of round two if you want. Yeah, sure. And that's just something you need. Huh? Like, do you need that meetup moment? Or anything no else? i just meant for, for like the three of us like, yeah oh. yeah I'm, I'm asking if you needed that oh no i don't to, need it to further i don't need it i was just okay perfect i was just asking yeah for for time purposes we shall skip and forego that in this time too. no worries all right i was just checking indeed uh, uh, i don't want to i don't want to but I well, have to. It's your turn, so you have to. I know. I know. I I don't want to talk to my aunt. Why not? It's but I'm... such a lovely lady. As you always reminds you how she has your best interest in mind. Of course, of course. But it would be courteous to go up and speak with her. That's true. That is so, true. I must. I don't want to. But you shall? But I shall. Begrudgingly. Through gritted teeth. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's do it. <laughs> I'm just trying to get music moving. It's not moving for me. Oh, sure. It hates me. 
Oh, hello? Goodness? Hello? It's it's uh, not behaving. I'll try relaunching. I hear it in the roll twenty. Do you? Mm -hmm. I heard it. Heard it starting. Let's try again. There we go. Okay, it worked. Yay! All right, we will go to your round two action. Mm -hmm. Going up to my aunt. Just a quick little... Intrigue? What are you looking for here? It's probably going to be intrigue. What is she doing here? I mean, I have my suspicions, but also, what is she doing here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, why don't you test intrigue as you walk up to her? And I've got a two geniality right now? Yes. I've succeeded. Okay. Uh, you see her just talking away with Sir Guidon. Oh, uh, lovely. I like him. Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I danced with him in my intro. Uh, yep. I was about to say, re like, reverse them, but it would be Rihanna, then no one help. <laughs> it would sound like Rihanna. Um... <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Lady Melior. She she turns uh, from Sir Gaiden and says, "Oh, excuse me, um, Owen. It's so good to see you. It's been so long." Oh, Auntie, it's been ages. <laughs> you look lovely. You as well. It, it seems that uh, Humble Creek Manor must be treating you quite well. Excuse me? Do you know where you are, love? Uh, yes. One sec. Let me back that up. Uh, my brain is apparently on over... It's okay. On, on fail it's failing altogether tonight. <clears throat> my auntie's been drinking again. Yeah. <clears throat> Did I say Humble Creek? I tried some wine from there recently. What I meant to say was, um, <laughs> Barrow Crest. Barrow, Briar Crest? Barrow Crest, yes. Barrow Crest. Yeah. Barrow Crest Manor. Yes, it's been wonderful. I've felt quite useful here. Oh, well, it's good to find your place. I hear you've been named an heir, even. Indeed. That's wonderful. It seems our king adds a very good uh, inclination to send me here. Mm, to send you there, yes. Uh, I can understand mm -hmm. that. Um, <clears throat> I suppose, in a way, and it was best for you and your time uh, for you not to continue your father's line and marry it into uh, a future with a fine noble lord. Um, I'm certain that King Hadwi has wonderful ideas for your future. Indeed. I've in fact. <laughs> to really. Oh, in fact. Uh, I don't know. In fact, though, it just seems that things have been quite looking up in that respect. Thing mm -hmm. is, you know, just being an heir is quite uh, exciting and noble and it is it all is. that sort of thing it's true and i'm sure if need be i could do the same thing as lady gwynedd one day and find someone worthy to be my own heir oh interesting like an adoption mm -hmm. yeah exactly mm. i could adopt some Poor needy child who doesn't have a life. Pity Rather that than would... bring one into the world. Pity that they would lose the claim to your father's manor if they did. How? Oh. Well. You know, it happens sometimes. I suppose that's true. 
unfortunate. But we all have our priorities, and for some, it's family, oh. and for others, it's our own futures. Indeed. We do seem to have our own priorities, and some people don't quite hold family in the same respect that they would for others. It's true. A lot of people are quite looking out for themselves. She smiles. Well, it was wonderful to see you. I know that this Always feast is Always lovely to, to catch up with Yeah, <laughs> it's one of those. I, re I run around you, uh, you look over at Sir Gaiden, he's just... <laughs> yeah. well, I just want to see you again, Sir <laughs> Gaiden. You met at a family event. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, oh, um, as, sorry, she turns to, as she turns to leave, she'll just smile and say, Lovely to see you again. As you well. as well. Look forward <laughs> to seeing you in the future. Well, perhaps. Perhaps we will. Auntie? All right. That was fun. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take a drink too. The biggest yeah. battle of the night just happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With that, we'll go to uh, Eronmi. All right. I now I'm realizing I have just been given an excuse to cart myself around to whoever the hell I want because I've got a pushy lady on my side. And she can go wherever she wants with the power of her own her own ego. Just for um, a minor annoyance of having her at your side, you can go anywhere you want. So <laughs> Aronwi? Aronwi doesn't get a say in this. Yeah. She's just being dragged, but Megan, Megan can do whatever she wants. Unlimited power. Yeah. Um What if I went bonkers with my power? What if I get dragged <laughs> up to give my respects to the king and the prince? Um, Let's go! You could give her. You could give her. It's gonna be an intrigue test to get above the salt, in this case. Ah, boy. Um. Hmm, okay, my intrigue is three. And I get a plus three from... Geniality. Yep. I could probably do a passion. Um. Mm. What's your most appropriate mm. one? That's the thing is that, in my excuse for Aronwi doing this, it's because she is being dragged. Um. So I'm thinking honor might work just because it's like, oh Jesus Christ, I have to like everything in me. I have to put forward to save face for whatever the hell is going to happen hey i don't think you've ever met cadwy have you i haven't met cadwy i met melwis yeah which she's also nervous about um i think when you mentioned that yeah i think lady Bryn just tugs your arm and says oh we must speak with them then come on and you're like but i, I have uh, to talk yeah, to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> please for the love of god okay so yeah i think I think I can justify honor. I just, I think the closest, well, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to save face here. I have succeeded. You have succeeded. <laughs> so, intrigue, that's gonna be plus an eight. I've. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh. <laughs> Okay. This is really embarrassing for everyone. Um, I think, I think what happens is you you get close and it looks like you're like, oh man, I'm gonna make it, and then Sir um, <laughs> so Morian clears his throat and says, <clears throat> uh, "My lady, um, Dim of Barrowcrest." <laughs> Oh, um, that's that's even more embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. Rami like flushes and just like looks down and waits for like the lady to. <laughs> what are we gonna do? 
Um, it's what, what is... and it's good to see you again. Uh, you as well. Um, the king and prince have explained to me that uh, well, they're very busy um, at the feast with the high table. Um, important talk and you understand. Um, absolutely, absolutely. I will and she be, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will be sure to let them know that you sought their audience. It's okay. You don't. You don't have to. No, no. I insist. Um, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst thing that could ever happen to a runway. <laughs> now, <laughs> me throwing her into the into the pit and going like, "Fool, die!" Now the um, good. Yeah, she like. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Now the good news is Lady no, Bryn she's... grants you plus two geniality, and she says. Would you do just that? Um, tell them it's very important and that we would like to speak with them as soon as possible, please. Lady Brit. Yeah, as she's saying that, Aranwi is like kind of trying to subtly tug at her. Don't, 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 don't. Uh, Stop so, it. <laughs> Sir Morian says, um, important. Uh, well, what is it pertaining to? And uh, Lady Brin says, well, you see, Lady. It, Dame Aaron, we here had um, some very eventful um, events occur last year. Um, <laughs> and, well, I'll just let her speak to you about them. What is she referring to? Megan doesn't have a good sense of she, time right now. <laughs> she has no idea. She's just shooting from the head. She's just making shit up? Yeah. That's how we do in court, Throw baby. Me to the wolves. <laughs> I know that I threw myself to the wolves, but this is this is too much, Bob. You can't you can't do this to me. <laughs> you can't let me face the consequences for my own actions. <laughs> As she says that, Aromi is like visibly like going through like every single thing she has said to this lady. And going like, what the hell is she talking about? <laughs> and she's like, um, I think she might be referring to the um, the. Oh come F now, Bogart? you're too. Yes, the the Bogart. Um, is that a is that a manner? What are we talking about here? She whispers to you. It's it's a, a fairy. A creature? fairy. A fairy creature. There was an event with a Bogart. And Sir Morian says, mm, I see. Yes, uh, well, uh, silly or unsilly, he says. Unsilly, <laughs> sir. Um, it, it started off as a silly fairy, but it got offended and started causing trouble. There's a look he gives you. You can't quite place it because you failed your intrigue. And he says... <laughs> yeah. I'll uh, I'll be sure to raise that. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you, Sir Morian. Have a good feast. You as well. <laughs> uh, so that's justifying why the hell you got two additional geniality this round for a failed roll. Yeah. <laughs> so. Thanks, up, random lady. Yeah, you end up with a total of six. Look at Aaron, we go. All right, and then with that, we go to Beatrice. Hi. I'm not going to go to the Prince to you discourage me. Um, <laughs> watching that discouraged me forever. Um, no, no, you can I talk to Sir Morian, too. I, you know, Sir Morian, I don't think I could come up with as many ideas as that woman just did. I'm pretty sure that's her, I would be like, that's fair. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hear about Gorla? I'd be like, yep, I agree. I'm trash. Leaving. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, I don't even know why <laughs> I came like, up here. Right. Um, yeah, Beatrice is like, you know what? You're right. This is a bad idea. I'll this, see you later. Do you know when the wine's being served? Um, yeah. <laughs> I had oh, to ask the baby. king about the wine. <laughs> I had to ask the king about the wine. Yeah. All right. Oh my god. All right. I was last I checked, I was playing games. 
Friend? Oh yeah, yeah. Do you want to do that? We can pull more people in if we want. Yep. I mean, if you want to ask people. for permission to dip from your lady in her charge. I mean, we're we're technically you're you're our charge, so we can't exactly. leave. Mm-hmm. Um. So. Yeah. Indeed. I think right. we're playing a game, and uh, if we want to invite other miserable people or squires that are stuck not doing anything, let's do it. To do to invite the squires, you'd have to go sit on the floor. I'm not sitting on the floor. I've gotten off the floor, and I want to stay off. The floor. Yeah. <laughs> um, you would have to entertain Brian, when you're I near the soul. To you would any have to any of the because I I hung out with Ariel last feast, <laughs> like interrogated him. Um, so I'm not sure how eager he is to hang out with us, but yeah, if we have any other people that want to play a game, let's do it. All right. Uh, yeah, I think you could like gather some handmaidens and like lower knights and stuff, you know, like hedge knights. Oh, don't want to be here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, basically. I'm trying to think of more powerful for a group. Uh, I think Sir Dogged will. Agree. Yay, I love Doggin. Uh, I'm not sure Dane loved that moment because, like, they're finally at this formal feast <laughs> together, and he's like, "Oh, look, let's play a game." No, come with us. Doggin. I'm gonna go back to my grassroots here. Yeah. <laughs> come, come and join. Oh, us. come on, Dane. I don't know what to do with their night. Okay. Uh, so with that, uh, why don't you, why don't you give me your gaming rule? My gaming, what's really funny is I keep offering to play games with people. My gaming role is horrible. What is it? I literally just join games to lose. Um, It's a one. Because we're in the feast, I'm going to give you uh, the two from your geniality you may also use here for this test. I have a whole three, guys. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. No. Mm-hmm. Passion would have got that. You forgot to pray to the horse Ooh. god. Yeah. I, I, this feels like a weird thing. Like, horse god eventually is going to get pissed with me because, like, horse god hasn't failed yet. I think <laughs> horse god's failed once, but not badly. And I feel like eventually, if I start calling horse god in for this kind of stuff, horse god's going to get mad at me. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, all right. Look, I just... is going to be like, come on. You really need hard. me for dice games? Yeah. yeah. One... She's like, one you mega jackpot place. and I'm done. I'll never ask again. Yeah. I promise. Yeah. Wait, she's, she's like, features. you want help with Uno? Absolutely not. I need, I need help on the Derby race. Come on, this <laughs> is like your thing. You're the horse god, baby. Was that with your geniality? Yep, Emily? that was with my geniality. Oh. oh, it's. I keep inviting people. Like I invited Ariel last time to play games, but yep. I'm awful at games. That's I think she just really does it sad. as a placeholder. I fully believe that she does it as a placeholder. I mean, right. hey, I love to play games. I'm not great at a lot of them. Yep, exactly. That's what you have you have a good time, but you mostly get your butt kicked. But it's better yeah, than it's trying to politic, probably for for Beatrice. Better setup. So yeah, she's gonna play some games, get my butt kicked, but. Probably oh. network with the people that don't want to be here. <laughs> All right. We're going to bring the three of you back together after that round. So it's like the three of you get a moment to to sync up and talk, if you'd like. Um, well, yeah. Well, that's happening. In enters Vivian and Nineveh. Nineveh. Wow. Brokens. No. And I died for beef. Oh, it's Vivian. First icon changed. It has. I didn't realize it was the same person for a second. I was like, who's my guy? What? <laughs> All right. So you tried to meet the king? <sighs> Why did you try and meet the king? And Arami kind of like gestures over <laughs> to the lady who's like she's gone to get some food and she's like 
I found this woman. She's really interested in making sure I look nice, and she's playing with my hair all the time and and dragging me places. And I told her like, "You took him lower do? than a king." We did. I've been all over this feast hall. She and with you I, still? I told her, or is she like off just getting wine or something right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Megan sent her off real quick for the <laughs> for the branches talk. Yeah. You touch me. And I, I told her about how we we were the ones that I'd met Melvis before and he knighted me and she she decided that we really needed to talk to him. Yeah. And then Melior caught us. Oh, yeah. God. I'm so sorry that you had to speak to Melio. It's, she's it's awful. Not, it's not I that bad. That. Yeah, she is. She's he's just doing terrible. Her job. Hang on. Oh. Have I gotten the wrong the wrong name? Oh, the sheriff. Sororian. I said that too. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what, I just I thought you were so inventing an excuse to make my aunt look worse. <laughs> I want to go say hi. Like I want to go say hi to Melwis just because. Yeah, you know, let's all go. Since he almost died, but no. But I'm not just going to walk up because that feels mm. like yeah, I'm going to get cold. in trouble. Also, did I see you talk to your aunt? <sighs> okay. Oh, yeah, I, I felt like that was how that went. Is that who that? I've been playing cards. Uh, he's lovely. <laughs> To everyone except me. Oh. Oh. Mm. I understand where she's coming from. I know what she's after. But given that she wants me to do things that I don't want to do. I'm not quite pleased. And it's always a source of tension. You know, we, we bought heads. I mean, I love her because she's my aunt and everything, but ever since Llewellyn died, she's just been... Well, she just wanted me to marry and produce an heir and have someone inherit my old, my father's old estate, which I... I don't even know how that would work, I mean... I mean... If someone could have it, why can't I just have it? Right? Why do I yeah. need? I mean, you're gonna get Barrowcrest, but Barrowcrest, I love our home. Barrowcrest is a wreck. I mean, it's not. It just like needs. That. It's. It's not that at all. I mean, we've gone into fairy like three times. That's and we bounced into it. It's just be careful. Just, just don't go into the mist. And we've yeah, gone into the mist because we've been stupid, but, you know. Yeah, no more mist for anybody. No one's touching the mist, please. Yeah. I... It's usually easy. I mean, I, I spent my whole life here and there, and there's rules. If you follow the rules, you don't go into the into fairy, but we can keep exactly. breaking the rules to go save princes and... <laughs> Stumbled. And when we stum we stumbled in in you know during the festival, but I think that's partially just because we weren't paying attention. We were focused on the game, and if we would have paid more attention, I'm sure we could have avoided it. I mean, I know I'm one to talk because I get lost more than any of you. I'm glad <laughs> that you've grown to the point think. that I don't have to say it. Well. I don't know if I've grown necessarily, or if I'm just hearing your voice inside my head and I want to preempt it, because I don't want to give you the satisfaction of saying it to myself. <laughs> All right. I'm going to kick you out the next time you try and hang out with me. Oh, what? How dare you? I'm going to make you do extra chores. How's that? Okay, with... Um, with with that, the the room starts to quiet in Sir Morian. Um, <clears throat> uh, as the herald quiets the room, Sir Morian speaks up on behalf of the king. 
in Cadwe would like to announce to all those vassal knights that are present. Uther prepares a muster for Cornwall. He has asked for the agreement from our lords. We must fulfill the oath. Cadby sits there silently. Melwis is also quiet. Sir Morian says, Hmm. We look for our commitment to this war. We will meet in well or in wells, rather, and accompany the others to Silchester, where we will join with Uther and his armies. Once once Easter's festivities are over, uh, Go with the gods. All right. And there is a mixed reaction to that. Largely confusion from anyone that's not a manor lord or lady. No idea what that means. So we like know that Cornwall is connected to the thing that we did yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah we do yeah he's the duke of Cornwall. we're very aware the duchy of yeah. cornwall is his uh, home. that's why we're not mentioning that's why we weren't telling mm -hmm. anyone we were in disguise all the way through summer yep yep yeah, yeah like, all right. yeah i think there's a point when Owen's like oh yeah we did you know nothing much we haven't really gone nothing. too much but there was a time when i had you <laughs> Yeah, I think that announcement, like, you know, we're having a lively conversation and that announcement happens in Iran. We just, like, <sighs> your face falls. Is that really for nothing? I mean, uh, I hope not. Gwydion did seem to say that Ufa was gonna push somewhere but I think he thought it would be here I mean I guess I should have should have realized if Uther was hunting down Duke probably would have been called to fight against him eventually but I don't um, like being at Uther's beck and call. I don't either. He's not my king. Hashtag not my king either. What's an hashtag, Lady Old? I don't know. I heard Melior say it once. And wow. Weird. Melior would be. An hashtag. I think it's a type of tree. Um. <laughs> <laughs> tree, yeah. Yeah, it's like when you when you make little uh, uh, defacing yeah, on the tree. Yeah, when you scratch into the ash, yeah. into the ash yeah. tree, yeah. 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 Um, it's like I'm scratching you know, into the tree that he's not my king. Yeah, you vandalize it, and it's just like some sort of sign. It's protest. Um, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> All right. With that, uh, we will go back into rounds, and we'll start with Lady Owen. Right. Um. Round three. Round three. You begin. Ah, do 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 do. Um, you said her name was Nineveh. Yep, Nineveh. Nineveh. Um, I or Nineveh or Nineveh or yeah, one of those. Something. Nineveh is what I. Nineveh. Um. Her. <laughs> I, think it's, her. I think it's Nina V. Nina V. It's pretty Nina. Nina V. Um, 
I would like to speak to she. Okay. Well, you may, because they are not really seated anywhere. They are walking about. Oh, I would like to speak to they. Yes. One sec. I just had to do that because it was broken. So, <laughs> uh, you reach okay. her. Yeah. Um. Uh, and where where is this feast again? Is this in um? Th- this is in. It's in Bath. Oh, uh, Bath, right? Um. So yeah, she'll go up to Nineve and. Oh. Um. Hi. I. I do hope I'm not bothering you. Lady Owen. <gasps> you remember me. Uh, hi. How are you? I'm. Doing. Well. It's. Are you normally at events such as these? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Not exactly Uh, my cell, no. We're... Well, I'm here for other reasons, I suppose. I assume they have to do with the announcement that was just made? Intriguing test. By the way, anyone who passed their entry, make sure you checked it. <laughs> oh, no. Remember to and I have four geniality right now. Yeah. I have succeeded. I'm just going to throw your geniality there now, because you've passed. Um, Hell yes. Mm. The announcement and other things, I suppose. There is... Well... She looks over... Says, Beatrice is your handmaiden, yes? Yes, she is. We should, um, yes, I think it would be good. Maybe she should accompany us. We'll, we'll speak with the king after the feast is done. Wonderful. There's much to discuss. Uh, oh. And I believe we should bring, um, Dame Morongi as well, as she is meant to be my protector in most cases. And I have a terrible time of explaining anything to her. So it's best if she hear things firsthand. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, those who accompanied us are more than welcome. Of course. It seems you're have in you... too deep anyhow. <laughs> and Generally, with, yeah. with Barrow Crest and, and your positioning with Barrow Vale, I think it'll be a much needed topic yes um and speaking of which i know things ended a bit quickly um the last time we met did they maybe i don't know (laughs) no Um, no she asked that okay um well much quicker than i would have liked I was maybe hoping that there would be, well, um, uh, (laughs) I was hoping that you'd be able to teach me a little bit. Oh. 
or just, you know, maybe not teach, teach, but... I think there might be think... some time for this, yes. Um, if it's not too inconvenient, I wouldn't want to put you out. Well, I'm if you not have time. doing it because... I'm... Because I like you or anything, Barker? She nods. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like a rational approach. Of course. Yeah. Always useful to have more tools in your belt. She nods. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the rest <laughs> of the feast. She gives you a look like she's not here to enjoy anything, um, but... And she, Owen kind of gives like a quirk of her eyebrows, like, I know, but that's the courteous thing right. to say. Yeah. <laughs> her and her and Branwen could probably have a like a bitch off between the two of them. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All of that. Yeah. Um, Owen oh, yeah, will yeah. curtsy. Petra's like, yeah. me too, me too. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> Owen will curtsy um, and they exalt. Yeah. Okay, um, Nimue, or Nineveh, there's no such thing. <laughs> uh, so we're move. we, with that, I gave you your geniality. Uh, we go to you did, yes. Her on we. Next. All right. Well, I can't draw cards unless I want to get get rid of the lady. It's true. So, but you do I have mean, a you do have a heap of uh, you know six so far. It depends on. Got a good amount. Glory or cards? Glory or cards? Hey, okay, glory or cards? I. I do so love glory. I love watching number go up. It's really nice. Um, hearts are also fun. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's time to... Well. Curb the lady. <laughs> lady bring Yeah, me. goodbye, gentlewoman. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I, I think... Romwe's vibe was a little bit killed by the announcement that, like, we're fighting for Uther against yeah. the guy that you went to all the trouble to save. Mm -hmm. Oops. Um, so now she's brooding a little bit. Yeah, Romwe's a little bit like, yeah. and gentlewoman probably was like, I'm going to go talk to people on my own. Bye. <laughs> um, which means I get to draw cards now. What a Okay, we have Be Valorous or Alms. Um, Be Valorous, a group of knights speak of bravery versus foolish recklessness. Um, if Valorous wins, the knights are impressed by your words, or if Reckless wins, they hope your recklessness will not kill you. Oh, um, we? I'm not honey. even going to... I'm not even going to read, read Alms. The other I have to do this yeah. one. <laughs> um, it's so good the fact for that her. I think Ronwe is the definition of is she brave or is she stupid? Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Reckless versus Valorous. All right. So Reckless wins? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> My now geniality. Now there's good news. Well, you get two for the card. Yeah, they do, but oh, okay. it's which, which one wins in this case. Um... But Got there's it. good news. The card's worth two, and you get one for the round. So you would would have earned three, but you earned two, in, or you earned one instead for the round. So you well, you have, still have a high. Not gate. awful. Yeah, it's not awful. Exactly. Yeah. So I think what this looks like is like we're in Summerland. The the talk gets around to like, oh my god, wait, you're the one who fought the Goblin Knight. Yeah. And every time she tells it. It is not heroic when she tells it. She's basically like, yeah, I mean, I didn't have any armor, so I I got him to take his off, and then I 
ran him down and it, it's just like this whole like a series of idiotic events that's like right. oh you're not cool this was awful this yeah. was a horrible wow good job critting on that on that intrigue roll because otherwise you would be dead um so yeah i think i think that's what this looks like is her going like oh yeah i'll tell you about the goblin knight story and then alongside her her dour mood about like fucking uther it's not it's not a great valorous story it's a very like she okay kind of story yeah <laughs> yeah they're like oh so you just managed to like find your way into a success there that's that's i hope you don't die <laughs> like, <laughs> hope we don't either cheers hypocrites <laughs> right <laughs> okay and as you go to beatrice uh I want you to roll recognize for me. I want you to add a plus five to the roll plus your geniality. Okay. So you have three geniality. Well, just good you did that because good God. Yeah. All right. So it's going to be eight total modifier wise. We can hope guys. It's not great. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I believe in you. You, you kind of see now when it, from your angle, when Vivian and Nineveh walked in, um, it looked like they were alone, but you see now Vivian kind of parts ways with a girl that looks like she's maybe eight or so, and immediately you kind of realize that this is likely your sister. The similarities in, in uh, features. Well, y'all yeah, know what I'm doing this round. Um, Stabbing. <laughs> Stabbing? <laughs> God, why would you say such a thing? Rebecca, it's a make him what we love. Oh, Lord, why would we do anything? Okay, I want to. There it is. I was gonna say, <laughs> she knew I was gonna laugh because my dark, my sense of humor is dark. Um, uh, I'm going, yeah, I'm gonna beeline it. Okay, she's going to kind of kneel. On the floor in front of her, so that they're similar height. She kind of like, kind of takes a step back. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> she's she's like Hi. eight, so she's a little flustered in the scenario. She definitely looks like she's taking it all in, but this is a bit overwhelming for her. Very busy. You nimwe, right? She, how do you know that? Um, oh, fuck it. Um, <laughs> she, she looks at her a long time ago. You were my sister. Did that change? She looks so confused. Not for me, but I wouldn't want you to be, to feel any sort of obligation towards me. I'll always feel obligation towards you. She, but. she raises her brow at that. She's I have many sisters, most of them older. I am your sister in that we came from the same mother and father. They are your sisters in spirit. I am your sister in blood. See. They said I couldn't go where you went. Well, they never quite tell me why, but I couldn't. I, I would have gone with you had I had the option, I think, that night. They said mother was wicked. 
Mother is a person. Sometimes people are bad and sometimes people are good. She liked you. She loved you. What's your I name? I suppose that's... I... I'm Beatrice. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you again. You forget I was with you as an infant. You but wouldn't remember. I do. <laughs> she nods. I, I should... remember the day you were born. You can tell, like, you passed your... No, you didn't. Test your entry. Actually. No, don't make me test my entry, Bob. If you I end with some genealogy, yeah, you got the plus. Dad, three. I want to use. I'm. Okay. What is my entry? That still doesn't get me very high. Can I roll do you, passion? Do you have love family? It's real low. What's it at? Oh no, I don't have love family. Okay, I didn't think so. <laughs> oh no, I do. I do. I do. I do. It's at nine. Nine. You may re-roll it if you wish and see if you get higher. We're gonna hope, guys. Two D. No. Oh no, I rolled it that. I no, thought no, you no. meant that one. I'm no, sorry. No. no, it's all good. No, no. give me roll two D six. Two D six plus six. Yep. Oh god, I forgot how to type in rolls, guys. It's okay. You want me to roll it for you? Uh, I think I roll. It's slash roll, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or slash R. 2d6 plus 6, right? Mm-hmm. There you go. 13. Not bad. Let me update the number, and you may roll again. You now have family who's not your mom. Hey, look at me. Yeah. I also have a trait that's suspicious, mother. And I was like, oh. God. <laughs> What is like our deal? Five plus three, so it's eight. So eight, you may, yeah. So now you can make your intrigue roll with a plus eight. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Eight. All right. Um, you can tell it's it's just a lot for her to. Mm -hmm. take in and you can tell she's starting to get uncomfortable not because it's a bad thing but just you know obviously no. you're yeah, processing new news. yeah and it's a lot um, of new news it's like hey let me tell you about the family you never knew yeah and, so i'm not going i'm gonna let you go with your sisters because this is a big room and a lot of information and a lot i'm at Barrowcrest Manor. Do you know where that is? Is that near the Barrow Vale? <laughs> Megan nodding to me going, yes. Because um, Emily panicked and lost everything for a second. I thought you were panicked um, because she knew what the Barrow Vale was. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Uh, I was panicking because I forgot everything for a hot second. Um... The Barrow Vale is, is the valley full of mist that you've walked into yep. more than well, So don't go in the Barrow Vale, but there's a manor near it. You should be able to see it. If you need something, if you need to run, you need anything. Find me there. Have you met the Goblin Knight? I have met the Goblin Knight. He's yeah, pretty he's cool. Wicked. He's wicked, but he's kind of cool and wicked, I guess. Traitors you. you. Can't believe this. <laughs> she looks confused. I, I'm gonna go see Vivian. One of my friends Vivian fought now. him and won. Really? Yeah. She's pretty cool. Before you go. Um, I'm trying to think of what possessions I have on me, which is nothing. Um, 
All I have left is the one guy's necklace that I have not taken off since day one. Um, I don't think I have anything else. I would have given her the amulet, but the amulet's oh, not here. It's okay, you might get it back soon. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I might get it. Yeah, I'm not really happy about that one. <laughs> so I'm gonna stay kneeling in front of her for two seconds. If you ever need anything, or if you're just mad at your sisters and you're having a bad time, find me. You have blood family still in this world and if they tell you I'm wicked then that's fine but even if I am I will not leave you do you understand she nods a little bit I think so I'm going to stop ruining your night have fun do something that's like a kid. N- nice Get to meet you, Beatrice. <laughs> and then with that, she walks she over in a bit of a shuffle to Vivian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't say anything to Vivian or any of them. I go straight back to where I was. Okay. All right. And with that, we end the feast. So. I want to do one more scene before we close. <laughs> We're going to go to switch back to here now. Um, to the big, big screens, big cans. Uh, now we're going to do a bit of a after conversation. So after a little bit, um, you find yourselves invited to a small conversation. And by that, I mean there's a short list of people present. <clears throat> Your lady is, of course, invited. Um, yeah. I think uh, there's one other minor piece I want to do that, that the lady would stop you with. So as you're walking to this small council that the king has summoned, uh, Lady Gwynedd stops and stands. So, so this is something Sir Dogged, Dame Branwen, and Aaron, uh, Dame Ronwy are certainly present for. Um, Lady Gwynedd looks to the three of you and says, "Well, considering we are uh, short on time." To produce uh, a knight, we will need to name one to join the battle in Cornwall. Uh, what? Uh, well, why not? I mean, uh, why not St. Kelligan? She smiles at you, Owen, and says, He's not here. He's back in Barrow Crest. And they right. ride off. By the end of the weekend. Well, send for him immediately. It's urgent. I doubt he'll be here in time. And in the meantime, we would be leaving the manor unattended. Sometimes you have to make decisions when she starts to turn this into a... Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Now I know why Kamigan's not here. Oh, your yeah. murder attempt has turned into a lecture. That's sad. Yeah. Awful. Yeah. I wanted to lecture what talk with my ex. Oh, God. Uh, I don't actually say yeah. that. Mm. I need to roll something about this. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a bad I need, choice. I need to roll some dice over this. Um, So, I feel like Valorous should be one of them. What's the other <laughs> vengeful maybe i hate uther's oh. yeah yeah i like that okay you vengeful. know what <laughs> well 
Valorous, I see. Um, as the the lecture is kind of dying down, Ron, we will say, well, it, it shouldn't be dogged. He's got a wedding soon, or possibly already had one, depending on what time of year it is. Um, so I, I can go. Do just as you say that, Sir Dogged looks to you and says, I, he says, I can go at the same time. And Branwyn's late to the party, so it's between the two of you, and Lady Gwyneth says, Um, I'll leave, leave it to the two of you to decide. Well, we have the prince here, right? How old is Ariel? Ariel? Ariel's a child. I'm still training that boy. <sighs> but I don't want Maybe. you to go. I don't want to go either, but one of us has to. I can't. I can't. The law. And I have to pick. Oh, good. You're you're still newly wed or about to be married. <laughs> about to be married, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna send you away right before my sister's wedding. You should have seen her the last time you went away. Right? But we can't. I'm we gonna leave the brand. You are on me. But we can't. Doggett says. Um, All right. I think I have to. I, do I have to roll something to make this choice? <laughs> Fucking sucks. It'd be like. I'm trying to think of like the practical reasons, like why I would want. Because I think it's it's more selfish to want to send. Dogged over Iran. -y. So I don't know, like, what I should roll that against. Selfish versus. Mm, prudent. Would it prudent? Yeah. It was prudent or, or, or just or. Hmm. Does, does Bob have an input on what the role should be? What are, What are you trying to do at this point? It's not sure. What you're because doing. like Owen doesn't want to send her on. We, um, you know, uh, and like I think her heart is saying all good, but she also. Here's what Aranwi is saying, and is like, yeah, we can't just be kind of messed up to send him before the wedding and all of that. But she also doesn't want to send Aranwi because Aranwi's her friend, and yeah, I think in in this case, um, hmm. I can think of passions that relate. I'm struggling to think of, um. Yeah, like, because, like I mean, we've got, I have loyalty to the branches, but, like. I don't know, I, I feel like selfish I... versus just. When you were, yeah. like, giving your explanation yeah, of, like, that's what I was but it thinking. wouldn't be fair mm -hmm. to send him before well, his wedding. Mm -hmm. Selfish versus just or just versus arbitrary, I'll accept either of those. Because arbitrary mm -hmm. is the opposite of just, you know, in your decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah. Okay. Mm. What you uh -oh. crit? Oh, so almost a crit. Um, oh, all right. So yeah. I I succeeded on arbitrary. So I think that means that oh, dog it's going to work. Dogged. Oh, dogged. It didn't I... kill us. 
<laughs> I did my best. It ain't gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah. Not me. I know. I'm on point of wherever I'm at. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. It... Rom, I can't send you. I. I know you've done great things, but think of it this way. Dane is going to lose. Oh, yeah, I mean, there's no guarantee that either. Uh, sorry, sorry. So, <laughs> for a while, for a brief moment in time, for maybe like six months or so, chill, chill. Maybe, maybe <laughs> wait until I finish coming. my fucking <laughs> sentence, <laughs> sentence before you start jumping down my throat. Spirit, <laughs> damn, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> So about how one of us is gonna die. <laughs> Shut <Yeah>. up. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Either way, this is not a great choice made for a Dane. Because either it's either a sister or a betrothed that go off to master. And it's possible nothing happens. And it's possible it turns out alright. But you know what the lady said when she gathered us all together. We're all three really important parts of family that made a pact. We all need to be together. So if you go, I think we'd all have to go. Cause... We shouldn't be apart. I think at the mention of the, the pact thing, which Romley doesn't really understand, but also like, she has accepted that this is a fact, I guess. Um, that's what kind of makes her like... <sighs> I don't I'm like it either. Talking. If anyone else were here. And she's like very specifically not looking at Branwyn because secretly she's anyone very, very happy that Branwyn, Branwyn did not say anything. She's so fucking happy. But if anyone else were it's here. It's a shame that no one else can no help. Else can <laughs> yeah, Branwyn doesn't seem anyone... like she's, she's a, like saying anything. But she yeah. also, Good. she realizes she lost the race to say something, mm -hmm. so she doesn't have to say something. I, well, if yeah. you do say if anyone else were here, she will interject at that point. Mm. <laughs> so if you said if anyone no, else were here, she's like, queen. I'm here, <laughs> I can look if it... If anyone else were here, <laughs> we would certainly send them, but they're not. What would be fucking... Mm. It's Quick, certain. come up with a talking excuse, over her. <laughs> but we have who we have. Mm. Well, we have. Uh, Brandon says we have dice right here. We're playing a game after all. We could leave it to fate. <laughs> Owen <barren>. gives. <laughs> gives a look to Branwyn like her heart is breaking at her suggestion. I mean, but it's not... she can't fucking argue with it. <laughs> so Doggin nods and says, very well. If that's, mm. if that's how you wish to make that choice, then I won't Stop you. The dog and picks up one and says, uh, Hi or low? Hi. Is Aranwi rolling? Or do we already establish that you're staying? No. Um, I, have I think no it's clue. between. I think, I I think it's between that. Branwyn and um, Branwyn and Dogged. <laughs> you both think different things. Oh, Rebecca thinks it's Branwyn and Dogged. Is is Aranwi gonna? Is Aranwi gonna? 
sit silently on this, or is does she feel a need to intervene and roll as well? The other two are rolling off. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna roll another thing. Yeah. Is Just, there a okay. sleight of hand check <laughs> in this game? Is My there a way? God, you're gonna Qui Gon Jin this? Yes, <laughs> possibly. Oh, okay. Loyalty I might branches. Kick the fucking table. If I see. Versus just, I think. I loyal to branches has won, which means that Aronwi is sitting out the Wrong. the call for you should probably stay here because of the weird magical thing you don't under, don't understand. Worked. Brandon shrugs and says, oh, "Hi," and they roll. And Brandon says, "Ah, well." Can I kick the table? I guess ah! I'm going to Cornwall. <laughs> No! Yeah. You can't kick the table! <laughs> the table and make it, like, turn into a lower roll? I'm only, like, half I kidding. My <laughs> You'd be hard-pressed to kick it under, too. Yeah, I know! Well, maybe we kick can, his die, Do I have- do well. I have a fucking- can I w reach out with my- Fainus and just be like fucking <laughs> fairy bitch powers. I'm just trying to do magic. Yeah, what's yeah, your yeah. what's your glamour? I don't have glamour. Oh then no. I do. <laughs> I just I'm am fae. It's useless. I was just born a half breed. Yeah, just decided, like you're like, born if I have magic. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just like, you know, like like a kid trying uh, to do use the force. Yeah. Uh, and it does oh, nothing. Bad. God damn it. Why do I even care? Beatrice is going to look sucks. at Branwen. My mom's so useless. Branwen is going to Cornwall. Yeah. All right. uh, but but Cornwall. now let's, let's My wife. Let's get on I to mean my the, night. the next scene. Okay. The next um, scene. Right, we're all still walking in the same direction, right? <laughs> yep. Okay. Ron, we can do her thing with Branwen later. Yeah. I don't want so, to hug her so much. The the gathering, Sir Morian isn't present for this. Cadwy is. Melis is. Yay. Lady Gwynedd is. Padarn is. To your surprise, Gwydion is. We need to know everything. Nineveh, Nineveh, Vivian, and then um, the gathering of branches. Gang squad. And that is the short list. Cool. Once everyone's gathered, Cadwy clears his throat. <clears throat> I, I suppose then. Um, well, that's not what I meant to say. There we go. <laughs> Sad music. Yeah. I suppose then. Uh, the efforts from last year did not. Solve things. Nina shakes her head. No. We managed to get the Duke away from Uther for a time. Yeah. Cadby says, I see. And yet the barrier continues to thin. No good, no good indeed. Various spinning, he said. Melis speaks up at that point and says, Perhaps it's um, the Unsealy's doing. I don't know how, but it seems possible. Of course, I forgot to mention. Nimue is here. She's silent, kind of standing over by Woody and the others. Don't we have a... 
Don't we have a truth? I mean, isn't it an act of war if they unseal the R spinning the veil? Lady Gwynin says in the Barrow Vale and Barrow Crest we do indeed have a pact. But nowhere else. Cadby says, um, well, not, not exactly uh, a pact. Um, we just welcome Celia and Uncelia alike. Uh, so long as they acknowledge the reign of Summerlin, which I'm not sure they're doing anymore. They're, both the Celia and Uncelia are up to something. Um, I don't know what, what... what they have against Summerlin's uh, leading. I mean, aren't you far more sympathetic to Faye than Ufa would ever be? Vivian says sympathy is a well very human concept, very person concept. It's not exactly I the suppose way. it's not the right word, but more not outright Tolerant, and blatant. Perhaps. Yeah. I'm not sure that the Sealy Court's intentions involve caring whether or not mortals from this plane represent them or not. In fact, my experiences tell me that they want very little to do with us. The Unsealy, however, thrive in chaos. The king is the land, and the land is the king. And right now, the king is very sick. I mean, kind of like looks to Cadwe at that. Does he look okay? Yeah. He smiles. He says, oh, no, not me. No. Uh, I'm the king of Summerlin. Uh, they speak of the rightful high king. Um, Relius? How, who is that if not you? <laughs> right. It's like, let's go through a list. Okay. Relius, Manic. There's someone in the middle yeah. that I can't really think of a name. <laughs> oh, Ar we're Arthur? not counting yeah. Manic. Um, or... gonna, go um, go Relius in the list ends there. Yeah. I mean, Goblin King? Goblin? Right? Absolutely not. I mean, that wouldn't be so bad. What <laughs> You sir, Sir Melis, uh, Prince Melis, looks at you and just scoffs. Oh, I mean, this... Rebecca, that man held him captive. Yeah, that wasn't actually in character. I know I did the voice, oh, but, okay, I, but, okay. but 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 Owen did not actually say that. Oh no, God. God. I was like, Jesus, no, she had, she's far ever. more courteous than to be like, hi, do you oh know your captor? God. You know that guy oh that just God. held you? Like, you in a yeah. Dungeon? yeah. I was so scared. I was like, there's no. any hope of any diplomacy with Malice at any point. God, I'm um, not... O Owen's not that stupid. <laughs> so, Uther is ill. That's who you're referring to. Yes. Wait. That's the rightful Eye King? They would consider that the Eye King? <laughs> Wait, is it because of that sword thing? Remember? Ca and she kind of like looks to the other Cadbury two. says, yes, Excalibur. Mm -hmm. Oh. He didn't even get that himself. No, that's not really how it works. It comes to you, you see. Well, who knows? He's the first one to ever have it. Oh. It was forged um, long ago, uh, when the land was young, before we even really existed as Kimrick. Uh, not by us, either. It's a long story. So, it's a legendary sword. Nobody really knows what it is, and he's just the first person to get it. Oh, somebody now, knows, just not us. Yeah. Well, the Onsili are convinced of it. Uh, 
Prince Bella says, If you had to ask me, after spending enough time there, I think that the Unsealy would see a great chaos in bringing Fairy closer to this world, and this world closer to Fairy. I'm not, I don't speak of the lands of the Seely and Unsealy itself, but even the Feywilds. I mean, if they were close together, would it be just as dangerous to cross there and back again? Would uh, there still be the challenges of yeah, shiftings is... of time? Nina versus, um, <laughs> I think it would be far worse than that. I saw one place where it was thin. Oh, and you were there? Yeah. It's not, it's not ideal. That, just everywhere. Uh, so... Vivian says, um, yes, uh, agreed. Uh, I heard about that. You, yeah. you were the one who looked after the northern hillfort, yes? I am. I, I see. Well, it makes sense. You have your mother's power after all. And Cadbury says, um, Cadbury says, uh, he, he seemed to not be paying attention for a moment, which is not <laughs> abnormal for Cadbury. And he kind of turns his um, <laughs> mother, um, whose mother? Uh, nothing important. Oh no, mothers are very uh, important. Mothers can be unimportant. Well, we don't. Sometimes. Mothers can be mysterious, too, and absent. I mean... So what are we going to do about them getting closer? I'm assuming you all have a plan? Henry says, um, indeed, of sorts. We garrison and raise defenses against invaders. There'd be no different against the Unsealy. Well, much more dangerous, I suppose, in the end. But we would raise our defenses. In the case of Saxons or the Irish, we raise swords and spears. In the case of... Indeed. In the case of the Unsealy... We raise magic. Indeed. <laughs> so we're going to raise magic or people who can do it. Yeah, so you, you come from well, you come from a former lady and perhaps you could locate your mother and she could look after it. And Vivian speaks up immediately and says, her mother is in no position to support us. In fact, I believe she may be supporting the other side. Is this, uh, hello? <laughs> yeah, what? Oh, Beatrice, Ms. Beatrice's is mother? Not, not well hidden at this point as a general yeah. disclaimer. Beatrice is livid. <laughs> Not by that statement. She was already livid by the, <laughs> by the statement of your it's mother's a former gen. lady. It's she's Beatrice angry. breathing. She's <laughs> more things that she's hearing she doesn't know. It's just hiking up as she goes. So I would just like to get off the topic altogether because there are so many things that I should not say in front of a 
king, with all due respect. Um, no offense taken. You need magic <laughs> users. I love it so <laughs> much. <laughs> I'm so much. You need magic <laughs> users to fight the unseelie. Do you know where it's thinnest? Or are they just going to come from all over? Well, I think it's thin wherever there are crossover sites. And he looks to the, the ladies and ladies both nod. Um, he says it was more like he was looking for a confirmation that they agree with what he was saying than <laughs> he was testing. Then he says um, the real trick is locating uh, where they might continue to support such places. And that might be Summerland, but it might also be outside of Summerland. Would it be easier to locate them if, say, there was, if we yeah, knew someone who happened to be from there? Um, Prince Melwis says, who exactly are you referring to when you speak of being from fairy, Lady Olwen? Just curiosity, you know? If someone is of that sort. If I happen to know someone back in... back in... Glastonbury or some such, who knows? I don't know. Or or Wales or 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 Vero Crest or somewhere or Prince you know, Mel Prince Mel is someone not someone not here. Are we lying to the prince right now? Yeah. yeah that she that is that where we're, is. That's where we're at? <laughs> I'm yeah, we're scared. Lying the yeah. Becca, he's hot. We can trust him. <laughs> Is that well, how it works? You know, if I think that's how it works, yeah. I don't I think I'm I'm not he's so I'm pretty. not lying exactly. Because I've I've been head, I've right. been to all of those places. <laughs> I think it's obvious that she's uncomfortable though. I I think this is where Mela says something. He says Yeah. I don't understand why this one is in the room. And he points to Lady oh. Olwen. Oh, she okay. huffs real hard. I need to roll yeah. something. Yeah. I need y'all to give me a second. I'm <laughs> sorry. But this one was the Just one... fuck you at Melwis. Okay, would I... This is... This is a general question. So if she is... <laughs> because she's already keyed up. Uh -huh. if, if she if were to snap at him for that comment, would that be vengeful versus forgiving, or would that be, yeah, um, prudent versus? I think I also have to roll reckless. like prudent versus reckless too, because she wants to say something about who the fuck got him out of fairy. Whatever yeah, way you, you want to take it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I failed. Prudent pretty. had failed. Guys, guys, no, no. I failed both of them. I Prudent failed, failed right? or I I succeeded on reckless. So, so Bobby we go. Suicide mine. Mm -hmm. Did I fail both? No, uh, so I no get thanks. to decide here. Well, you Beatrice, you get to interrupt. Yeah, we'll let you uh, let you be reckless here. It makes sense for Beatrice. She, what's your courtesy? Like two? Oh, it's bad. It's yeah. one. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, Prince Malice. I think I start to say something, then Beatrice like cuts me off. Oh, yeah. Like with all due respect, and she she spits that out like that's hard for her. Yeah. She is likely. Well, no, not likely. She is the reason that you got out of fairy. She was the person who negotiated your release in the very end, spoke to the Goblin Knight, and actually is the one who did it. 
I was there for the entire thing. She was there and helped me close the break in the veil between us and the Unseelie. A few months ago, she has been there every single time I've had to go into fairy after that. And let me tell you, it was frequent. So she's here because she's important. She's the heir to Bear Crest, and she knows more about the fairy than arguably most people. She is important. Have you ever asked yourself why she seems to be so in tune with fairy? Yes. I, I remember know. my captor well. I remember the Goblin Knight, but I also remember his lady. And Lady Olwyn, you bear her resemblance. Ooh, exciting. So Bye. forgive me if I speak without hospitality and saying that I am suspicious of you and your loyalties. If I am anything other than just human and there's no confirmation, just an inch by a lady, I never knew anything other than the parents that raised me and both of them are dead so whatever I might be I don't have any sort of obligation to them I never even thought of a possibility of being related to them until a few years ago I don't even know if it's true but I've been told that I do resemble someone. But if I do, she's not the person who raised me. So, she might have given me a blood, but she's not my mother. I'm placing myself between Malus and Olwen just slightly. That's why I was hesitant to say anything. Because I don't know. But that, um... But I might be useful. Can we, um... <clears throat> gets off his feet. <clears throat> he's actually, you know, he looks short just from his, like, stature, but when he stands, <laughs> he's actually quite a big guy. Like, he's just... Yeah. As wide as he is tall. And he walks over to Lady Olwyn and just goes <clears throat> and he pats the top of your head and then walks back and sits down <laughs> this guy i love him so just looks thoroughly confused we yeah. very angry to like i think like she was very worked up but just ha- getting a little like head pat it was just like yeah man <laughs> This man knows how to defuse a situation. Like, he really does. good Just job, dude. Walks away. Vivian says, um, well, if this one too is of the Fey blood, has she been taught glamour yet? And Nineveh says, no, no, clearly not. Clearly rude. Well, she, <laughs> she was with. She was with Olwyn, teaching her something last, literally last. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Lady Lady Gwynn says, "These three have really come into working together. They were called to Barrow Crest because King Cadby spoke of a prophecy involving the three tribal." or the three tribes that once called Summerland home. So if, if that's the case, um, I just want to support them. Let them know that they're doing a good job, and all of this is difficult. So I recognize 
all of you have a lot more experience than we mortals. She kind of says that in with a little bit of a little bit of a stab, like a little bit of a um, we're not as great as you guys kind of thing, right? <laughs> she says, but I would appreciate your yes. patience as we do our best to assist you. And Vivian will smile and say, let us put the past in the past. This does the situation doesn't get better without us. We must strike a balance. Or the courts will have it their way. What we know of the Sealy is they seek order. What we know of the Ensili is they seek chaos. How and where and why is as much a mystery to us as any one person's drive for something. It seems to be inherent in them. Something like a nature of sort. So, for now, I think it's best to be prepared I think we need better guidance and eyes in starting in Summerland. And I'm afraid I will be stepping away soon. What? What? I must prepare my own contingencies should things go awry. I leave yeah. things here to the sisters in their capable hands. Nineveh will be the second most um, senior and will take over in my stead. I would recommend that we begin to teach Lady Olwyn the glamour magics of her blood and that we begin well Vivian smiles at Beatrice for a moment. Our order has rules. Rules that can't be broken. I know it seems like a slight, but there are other ways for you to grow powerful, and it doesn't necessarily include being a lady of the lake. I know. I would like you to begin your trials. I'll speak to Lilo. And she will gather her order. I don't know what that is, but all right. She's death glare. Yeah. <laughs> Just the immediate, like... Cadre says, oh, well, that's quite dangerous and fun, but if things work out, then you end up... Um, Ooh. Are you sure this man is all right? No, he's never been. I he's so he's never good. Been all right. It's okay. He's breaking the tension. We needed someone to do that. Oh my god. With that. Uh... Mela says, I apologize for my rash tongue, Lady Olwyn. It's... And she kind of takes a breath. And... It's understandable. I... I've been having trouble coming to terms with it. And I've had my suspicions of some things for a little while and given that there's tensions I suppose I was afraid of certain things coming into question 
I don't begrudge your precautions, especially in your position. I should have been more forthcoming with information from the start. But I swear, I've no reason to turn. I might like the Fae, I might think they're interesting, but <laughs> my loyalties are to Summerland, and my friends, my family. Shall look to, you know, Branwen, Beatrice, and Ronwi, Gwynid, Gwydion. Fuck Doggin. My God, I mean, like, you know, oh, her friends oh, that are present. about the connections we make as we're living and not necessarily our relations through blood because that can be given and walked away blood without nurture it's not really anything is it Universes. <laughs> a funny thing to hear from the gathering of branches. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> well, we didn't make the pact. We can honor it. V Vivian looks to Beatrice and says, Would you allow me to oversee your trials? If Lilo agrees. I'm fighting back every snark for my <laughs> Feel free. Play the character. Do what you I'm want. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm hardcore doing it. I'm wording it. We I still have no idea what that is. Very pointed look to her. <laughs> But fine. What difference does it make who does it? She knows. I will impart with you what I can before I leave. I appreciate that. All right. And I think with that, we're going to. I want to. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. No, no. I want to catch if we separate. Which yeah. I assume we're doing. Yeah. I want to catch. Uh, I'm forgetting people's names. I'm so sorry. Vivian and uh, Nineveh. N Nineveh. Before and... they. Okay. I'm just butchering everyone's names. No, so. no, it's all good. So Vivian, <laughs> Nineveh, uh, and then Nimue, Padarn, and Gwydion are all together. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll go. I'll stay as a whole group. I don't even care. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Beatrice is on the warpath, guys. I yeah. warned you it was going to happen. Let's go. We've lost her. Um, she's not a villain she's yet, but she's definitely... Wind her up, let her go. A moment. Because um, we're 16 and we're upset about that. <laughs> um, yes! Teenage Rebellion. Let's Take it, it to the man. I, yeah, she's 16, which is a lot of the reason that I'm letting... I'm like, all right, yeah, let's go. <laughs> um, she's going to go up to the group of them. So, hello, Gwydion. Oh, <laughs> hi, hi, Beatrice. Oh. <laughs> hi. Like, so she literally interrogated him and slammed him against the wall the last yeah. time she saw him. Yeah, um, I did. He remembers. Yeah, yeah I'm sure he does. <laughs> so, I think we can all acknowledge 
that I wasn't exactly given any information. I gathered bits and I've seen things and heard things, so I know a little bit about who you all are and what that means and where you where you live and the whole thing. And I'm willing to let it go. I'm frustrated and I'm angry because I maybe was a bit disappointed and that's fine. She's going to look to Nimue. You're taking care of my sister, like it or not. She is my sister. I get that you call yourselves her sisters, and you may be her spirit sisters. That's fine. I don't care. I'm glad she has people there for her. I am her sister. I expect you to continue to care for her, whether or not you care for me. I th thought maybe you did at one point, but I think I was misled. I'm very sure I was misled. But, and that's all right. We don't have to be friends. We don't have to be enemies. I'm okay being allies that need to get something done. If for some reason I find that my sister hasn't been cared for, or that something has happened to her. I get that I'm not powerful now, but I will make myself powerful. They, and I will bring it all to the ground. They look, they look to you. <laughs> yeah, it's a very brave yeah. build to yeah. me. Yeah. They look to you. You, you notice that, um, Nineveh and Vivian look at each other like very knowingly. You almost don't like the the look they give. Oh, that makes her that makes her more angry. Like there's a They say just in turn they say Um Nineveh, who you have like less interactions with, right? You just yeah. had the one year. She says easy young one. I knew your mother well. I can see you in her, in those words. I don't typically do anything the easy way. I don't know if they've told you. And maybe I am like her and that sucks. Because she hated me. No. So, I want to help you. I want to be your ally. Care for that girl. I will never have a problem with you again. I will shut my mouth. Never ask you questions. I will figure it out on my own. Because I understand that you're restricted as to what you can say. I just wanted you to know. Need of it looks to Vivian. I think of that one, and Vivian is the one to speak up. She nods with a smile. You have our word. We will look after Nimue. She is our future. She's my family's future. And she's going to turn to walk away. And as she walks away, she's going to say, see you around, Gwydion. <laughs> uh, bye. Gwydion's used to see this you, kid. I feel like Gwydion's like, yeah, he's gone off again. It's fine. All right. Um, Bob, yep. may I choose peace real quick? Everyone's choosing violence, but uh. can I... Wow, you, you know second. the group is fucked up when Megan is saying, let's not do violence a little bit. Oh, I'm letting everyone I else do violence, but Ronnie's having a stressful day. <laughs> mine wasn't violence, mine was a threat of violence. Yeah. If 
Wait, Master Preemptive violence, if you will. So I said that I'm their ally. I said it. Yeah. So true. You Just also said you're going to burn them violence. all to the ground. If they hurt my sister, if... I'm going to burn them all to the ground. If, if it's good. Anyway, I'm going to no. be so, so nice. Um, People have left the room, and Aranwi is feeling very uncomfortable, is going to nod and say, Your Majesty, and then turn to Melwis and say, It's good to see you well, my prince. And she will go and talk to Branwyn if they have mm -hmm. nothing to say to that. Okay. Um, um, would you mind if Olwen is there too, or, or do you want an alone time with Branwyn? I'm um, good either way. I, I also wanted to speak with her. I just want to check in with you first. Before I just shove myself in there. Either way is good. Could cool. I have her... Uh, we can do it together, and then could I have her last? Yep, sure, yeah. Alright, maybe, like, Olwen is already there, because Aranwi was the last to leave the throne room. Okay. So. Okay. She just wanted to do a quick little... Um... So you... You're going. I am. You don't look happy about it. Of course not. I mean, uh, it's not that I didn't... I... I trust... I trust Dogged and everything. It's not that I don't want them... Him not around, and I'm happy for... Dane. That a betrothed isn't going off to muster, but... Maybe I'm a little selfish. And... Obviously, I don't think that you... belong to anyone. You're not property, but... I don't know, you will feel like you're my knight. And I don't... What do you... She... At me, but I understand after speaking with Golo, Golo that knights have duties that they have to do. And I'm not asking or telling you to change your mind, because you can't. I understand that. I just want you to be safe and come back to me. She, like, kind of nods. There's... I'm a knight. War is what it is. For this I serve no one but my own coin. And I serve whatever side paid better, if need be. Well, when Merlin wasn't pulling me around. I understand. I've survived all those battles. I think I'll survive this one. I hope so. If you don't, I might have to train to be a knight and go fight them myself. She mm. nods with a, with a smile. Let's let's um let's work on that dagger a little bit more first. Oh uh, yeah, I can definitely you know look. I can I can like flip it now, right? <laughs> Just constantly like little bandages on her fingers, <laughs> like little little, little like cuts <laughs> all along her fingers. I can do a little trick. And... Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe I won't try that. Yeah. And being I'm conscious of. Yet. Of the timeline, not trying to slow thing or not trying to like move along through important things. I think we'll have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I, that cannot fade. Yeah. And she'll she'll like catch Iran we coming in and be like, "Oh, see you around." Of course. Uh, and she'll turn, and then she's gonna flip back and hug her. Okay. She and looks then run away. At touch. Uh -huh. yeah. 
run away, no eye contact after From that anybody. happened. Just... Yeah. <laughs> Aram, we kind of like watches Olwyn go and then looks back to Branwyn and goes, I... All right. You know you're her favorite. <laughs> um, a- anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Ever been to muster before? I assume you have been. I mean, you're in the night a while. I have. First time against other knights, though. I must admit. Seems wrong. Well, I wonder. It, it does. If I find Merlin, be sure to ask him what the hell's going on think he'll answer <laughs> he'll answer I don't think I'll think understand it mm. yeah I've started to realize that I understand Cadby better than Merlin he's strange uh, I think I like him I'm not I'm and... came here but under recommendation, but when I learned that Summerlin was a county of magic, I, n- not going to lie, I really thought about just continuing on through. I'm glad I stopped where I did, though. I'm glad you did, too. But not, not just because you gave me another chance, but it's nice having you here. Um, and... I want you to come back safe. I will do my best. I would say that things will be all right, but I'm too practical for that, I guess. It's no telling what happens in a battle. I'm not worried. I mean, my third sire, third time's the charm, right? think you'll be fine <laughs> and then she's yeah she says that immediately like mm. <laughs> all right uh, all right she and says she uh, will give her a handshake instead <laughs> yeah yeah she's even awkward with that like the even the night things that normal knights would do she's just kind of like oh. i love her uh, so much yeah uh, arm's length just a little like uh, shoulder pat yeah yeah physical you... affection yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Haldir hug. <laughs> I mean, if cigars right, they, they existed, she'd muster. probably you have too. one on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, with that, we're going to close out this episode of Gathering of Branches. And uh, we'll wait to hear about the what is likely the already spoiled news of... Uh, of what happened in the battle of the battles of Cornwall. Uh, I don't know any of that. I actually don't know. Yeah. I'm the only one that ever doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. I want to be caught up. I do. Dog, it no, is no, all good. Organically. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting yeah, to see true. the differences. I agree. It's kind of like we get the litmus test of like, did you watch it versus did you, did you not and see the different reactions there? Um, okay well uh let's go ahead and do our outros so uh what i will do is i'll quickly pull up my about page on twitch and just talk about that for a second and then oh yeah we can go from there let me do this in a way that's not gonna create a loud noise everywhere loud noises loud noises i'll probably (laughs) everybody starts screaming yeah (laughs) Everybody be as loud as humanly possible. Yeah. Also, I didn't know you were like, oh, us mortals. And I was like, who all here is immortal? Right? I was like, the king too? Like, okay. Oh, yeah, no. That's, oh, like, that's, that's an interesting oh, note. You should probably yeah. all test um, folklore on that one. Hell oh, yes. Oh, hell hell yeah. yes. I would like everyone to know I, because the I got an extra point. When we were doing 
all of our level ups for winter solstice. <laughs> no one got folklore. Not a I single did. person. You did? I think. Oh, me and me and Megan did not get it. Yeah. We wanted folklore, so but folklore did not want us. I think. Chakra. Uh, wait, hang on. Do we still get our geniality from Am the feast no. or nah? No. Nah? No. No. Feast is over. Yeah. No, I just, I don't know. Okay. Wow. Well, it wouldn't have worked anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hard Jesus. No. We are very angry. We chose yeah. that. You Which wonder you wonder what that meant, I guess, right? Like I think like for them to reference that, like does that mean they aren't mortals? The mm -hmm. ones you're in the room with? All of them? That's weird. I mean I think you know, like, it with... a, they didn't tell me something. <laughs> That's probably a real easy fix. It's called talking to Gwynid, who was the one who made the snarky mm -hmm. comment. We do Hey Bob, her. another scene. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Do you oh guys God. really want to? I, I could give you one more if you want, but I know it's late, too. So. You want to save it? Up to M. Up. You want to open with it next time? Let's open with it. Let's yeah, that, that, right. that's I'm that's so that's a sorry. good idea. No, no, no. It's no, fine. dog. Yeah. You, it, is, it is so late for you. Yeah. Yeah. Let us. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's wrap this shiz. Okay. So, actually, that didn't quite show as well as I wanted it to. Um, but good enough. Uh, this is the new outline for uh, my stream. So, um, yeah. just a note: we have um, Fall of Uther on Sundays. Uh, on Tuesdays, we have uh, Gathering of some Branches. Some game. <laughs> yeah, some game on Saturdays for a short time. We'll have the Envoy, and then there's the. Uh, Keepers Coast Weekly uh, Aurora vs. Um, West March's game. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'm not sure when I'll be running. While the Envoy's running, I might be on weird days. Just trying to cherry pick where I can until I can get it like a Saturday for it. Uh, open Pendragon, come play with us if you want. Uh, it's an open table. And you get to do things that are adjacent to, to the streams. Yeah, it's super cool. It's drop in, drop out. There's no like super hard commitment. And so it's a lot of fun. Anyways, you can find all this on the about page if you're interested in finding out more. Uh, I just want to plug uh, Mark's uh, Mask Unregistered. Yeah. That's me now. Uh, it takes place again this Thursday. So, yay. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, you can find out more on the, the various Pendragon D&D stuff I'm involved in as a stream. And then I'm going to kick it down to Rebecca. All right. Hi, I'm Rebecca. I played Lady Olwyn, and I was this close to mouthing off to a prince, which was super cool. Um, you did. You did I, mouth off to a prince. You I did not close. mouth off as hard I as off. I was about to. <laughs> it's okay. Beat, Beatrice got right in there, Beatrice, mouth off yeah. to a prince, and then, and then threatened a couple of really powerful much. enchantresses. So. Yeah. Yeah. Which good shit. Good up, fun. good up, good up, good up. Also, I'm going to preemptively say good up. Um, I, uh, yeah, I played Owen. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I missed, I missed this. It has been like, it's been like three weeks since we played, uh, this game. And it's, you know, it's so fun. It's so much fun. I have so much fun with it. And I'm so glad that we're back, baby. <laughs> um we back. I we back. I am also going to plug uh the masks game marks the cat's meow um over down in the in we got links below and such. Uh I'm there. Bob's there and a couple other people uh from the sort of victory or Fall of Uther now, a uh, Pendragon stream. Ah, uh, and it's it's a lot of fun. It's we uh, had a little bit of an issue with the first episode, uh, but there's going to be a recap. Um, and it, it, issue number two is going to be this Thursday, and I think around four p.m. Pacific. 
um, you should definitely come join us. It's superheroes in high school. It's rad. Um, and yeah, I'm stoked. And I am rambling. Join our Discord. I've linked it in the Twitch chat. Um, we have a lot of fun. We post memes. We talk about a bunch of random stuff. And Megan, save me from myself. Uh, hi. Or um, wait, or is it em it's, it's Emily? It's usually Emily. Now. Emily, Emily, save me from myself. Throw everybody for a loop. Looking, I was looking at our Discord. Um, hi, I'm Emily. I did tell off a prince today. I told off pretty much everyone who was alive today. <laughs> um, I played Beatrice, the said angsty teenager. Um, <laughs> oh, you hi. gained weight. All right. <laughs> this is here's the kitty for the day, Bob. I'm not sure they can see. Like, oh, it is Thanks. there. Thanks. So, yeah, here's kitty. She is there. There's the the other one's asleep. But it was super fun playing. I missed playing this too. This was great. I caused chaos immediately. Let's do Megan. <laughs> Megan. Oh my gosh. Hi. Um. I didn't mouth it off to a prince today. Um, Bronwy's lifespan was shortened by a couple of years watching everyone else do that. <laughs> um, but it's fine. We're so fine. Um, I don't have anything to plug. I also missed playing. I'm glad to be back. Sorry that Hot Boy Melwis is a bit of a dick but you know extenuating circumstances that was so upsetting i'll forgive anything that a prince does honestly um yeah he's <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. i've um, experienced this multiple times i can say emphatically it is true i just think that like you know <laughs> <clears throat> Monarchy as a system is uh, corrupt and awful. Also, did you know that when like the like the rightful king is the, the, the sword and the prince, you know? Um, anyways, I think it's fine. Um, <laughs> had a great time today. Bob, save me from myself. <laughs> sure. Yeah. No, I'm actually going to double down on that. Yes, I will always forget oh. what a prince says, does. No. Fellow yep. prince liker, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna double Except down. Yeah, the princes are hella okay. hot. Okay. I'm I'm closing down now. <laughs> All, right. All right. Take care, everyone. See you next time. Bye. Maddie. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Ooh, not yeah, Maddie. I, I forget yeah. any, but anything someone does. Yes, he tried to yeah. trick us. He tried to get pull a fast mm. one. Yeah. But I caught him. I got you, Bob. Yeah. Not right. Maddie. He doesn't. Oh, are we count. still? He's not my prince. Not my also. <laughs> I didn't Megan. vote for him. Oh my god. Yeah, Megan before god. a Ron okay. did indeed excuse everything Maddox did due to the fact that I mm -hmm. cared for him so much. Okay. Then he, you know, fucked me Then he became our enemy. Speed. You're not wrong. Uh, sorry. <laughs> not okay. a prince anymore. He's just an asshole. Well, he's definitely not a prince anymore. I like how we have That's multiple um, names in the user list that are not a bot, deaf, and then a number. <laughs> yeah. Nothing right. more believable than that. So, anyways, uh, take care, everyone. <laughs>